Where I saw you standing small Separated by our flag Saw your eyes, you saw my time Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Stoked on Spokes. In today's episode, I'm riding the Bonita Road Loop, which is a local loop right from my house. Uh, I just connect Bonita Road to the town of Mountain and then back down to my house. So it should be fun. It's usually two-thirds gravel, one-third road. But as you can see today, it's just some snowy, snowy gravel. So we're going to flip that and do about one-third gravel or whatever this is, whatever you want to call it, and two-thirds road back home. This is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> the weather's perfect. It's really not too cold right now. And it's just started to snow ever so slightly. Wow. This isn't even taking that long. Like you can move pretty fast on this snow. I'm just taking so long because I stop and record or take photos. Awesome. Oh man. And I fell upon my knees as I watched you out. Well, almost knocked that light down. That was quite the ride, if I say so myself. It was beautiful. It wasn't a long ride at all, but just beautiful the whole way through and amazing weather. So can't complain about that. Some of the things that I updated in my kit are chain related tools. So now I'm going to bring my chain breaker on basically every ride, unless I forget it, then I guess that's not in my hands, but a lot of people thought I forgot it last week, but I made the stupid decision to just not bring it, which is a different story. If you forget it, that's one thing that's fine. However, if you choose to not bring it and then need it, you're going to be really kicking yourself. So 
I went ahead and bought a quick link tool. This is the wolf tooth one. Uh, stores a couple of quick links or master links in there. And this is one of those tools where you don't feel the need for it until you do, if that makes any sense. Because I knew that these existed, I knew they were around, I just never wanted one. And last week on the ride, boy, what I would have done for one of these. Another problem that I had on last week's ride was my phone kept freezing and dying because of the cold, and so did my other batteries, the drone, the GoPros. The only one that lasted was my little Sony, not this big one, but a smaller Sony camera batteries. I wanted to keep my stuff in a warmer place, and I know a lot of you commented on the last video that I could just keep it in my pocket or keep a hand warmer and put it in my pocket with my phone. I just do not like riding with anything in my pockets. If I can avoid it, I will avoid it. If I have to, then I put my phone in the pocket. Most of the time though, my phone is in my frame bag, so I'm very used to not riding with anything. Or I wear a backpack or a hip pack if I'm mountain biking and just put my phone in there. So the solution I came up with is not a brilliant one, but I just took this old Thompson bag from a stem and and the bag is kind of a canvas material. I don't know my materials too well, but seems like a canvas e material. So it wouldn't be really insulating. So what I did is I went into my sock drawer and took my warmest woolly sock, put it on my hand, put this all the way down in the bag. And so I just worked the sock in, puppet time. Worked the sock in and then just folded the excess back onto the bag itself. There we go. And just hold the sock in, pull it, pull it out. Now you have a super warm pouch. You could honestly just use the sock, but I thought an extra layer of something might help it even more. This worked out okay. I put my GoPro batteries in there and the GoPro batteries stayed warm, but I don't know, GoPros are, I'm just kind of annoyed with it right now because it's such a good camera when it's warm weather. When it's cold, like both of the past rides that I've been on, it's basically useless and that's why you're not seeing a bunch of GoPro clips because I can't get it to stay on for more than a few minutes. When I put the fresh battery in there, it works and then it lasts a couple minutes and dies. So I don't know. But yeah, it worked, especially for the phone. My phone didn't die and I'm really happy it did not die because I actually forgot my external battery. I don't usually mean to take that out of my bag, but I had to charge it and forgot to put it back in. But I left with a fully charged phone and came back with a phone that had 70%. So it worked perfectly. All right, that was it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing. I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, remember to stay stoked on Spokes. Hello, future me here. I just finished editing this video. Pretty stoked on it. I wasn't at first, and then at the end, it all sort of came together. I'm doing a Q&A next week for next week's video, doing it this weekend. So if you guys have any questions about anything, bikes, YouTube, camera gear, life, events, anything, just drop it in the comments below. I posted it in the community tab. That's where I'll usually post these things, but I never know who sees that or who gets to see that, if anyone sees it. There's some of you who see it. But for the rest of you, just drop your questions in the comments below and I will address them in the next video. Thank you guys so much for the support and I'll see you in the next one.